from the guide sheet four, uh, we're going to be looking at how to use uh, components to add vectors and uh, also how to find components using uh, SOHCAHTOA methods. Uh, so again, in a right triangle, and many times we can force the right triangle by uh, taking a vector and breaking it into X and Y perpendicular components. With this being a right angle, the hypotenuse is the side on the other side from the right angle. Uh, this is the angle theta. Theta is a Greek letter commonly used for angles. The adjacent side is the side that touches that, and the opposite side is the side that's on the other side of the triangle. Uh, so katoa, sine is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. That's a ratio. Um, <clears throat> cosine theta is an adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Now, since the hypotenuse is the larger side, both of those ratios can be no more than one. Uh, and they vary between positive and negative one and values less than that. Uh, tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side. Uh, it can be more than one. Okay, so here we have a triangle. Uh, three triangles that have a lot in common. We're uh, adding two vectors. I'm adding the three meter vector at zero degrees plus the four meter vector at 90 degrees. They've been placed head to tail. The resultant will be a straight line from where I started to where I finish. Okay, now that forms the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Now, to figure out the hypotenuse, if I take, um, that would be the uh, displacement. So displacement, resultant displacement would be the square root of three meters squared plus four meters squared, uh, the square root of the whole thing. Uh, three meters squared, three squared is nine, plus four squared is 16, square root of 25, that's equal to five meters. Now you may have recognized that was gonna be five meters because this is a classic three, four, five triangle. Now I also need to figure out the angle. The angle I want is this angle right here, theta. Now I don't want the sine or the cosine or the tangent of the angle, I want the actual angle. Now, I prefer to use tangent, um, so I'm going to use tangent, but I'm not going to take the tangent of the ratio, I'm going to take the inverse tangent of the ratio. Essentially, I'm asking, in this case, the calculator to tell me, here's the ratio I have. I have a ratio of 4 over 3. It's 4 meters over 3 meters. The meters are going to cancel out. Calculator, can you tell me what ratio uh, the ratio of 4 over 3, what angle goes with that particular ratio? So I go to the calculator, uh, quick check to make sure I'm in degree mode, and I am degrees. And then I'm going to say uh, second function because I want the inverse tangent of 4 divided by 3. And I get 53.1. Okay, so 53 uh, equals 53.1 degrees, which you can probably round to 53. So this final answer would be dr is equal to 5 meters. The resultant displacement is 5 meters uh, at 53 degrees. Now remember, we said the resultant displacement is always the straight line from where you started to where you finished. We've worked with displacements before. In this case, we're just working it with it in two dimensions. Okay, here I have the same two vectors, except the three is now 90 degrees and the four is 180 degrees. So they're not technically the same vectors, but they are vectors that are similar to the other two that I added before. Now, when I get the result from here, it's from where I started to where I finish. Now we know already that that's going to be 5 meters. 3 squared plus 4 squared takes square root. Uh, we want this angle. Well, that's also the inverse tangent of 4 over 3. That's 53 degrees. But I'm not going to write this answer. It can't be 5 meters at 53 degrees. That would be the same as the other vector. And this vector pointing to the northeast is not the same as a vector pointing to the northwest. To be the same, a vector must have both the same magnitude and exactly the same direction. So this is going to be 5 meters, but it's going to be at, remember we report all our angles from 0 degrees. 
that's 90 degrees. I have to add that to 53, so I get 143 degrees. So these two vectors have the same magnitude, but different directions. In the third one here, again, it's 3, 4, 5, so it's exactly the same uh, overall triangle. And this, again, the ratio of 4 over 3, so that's going to be uh, 53 degrees. But again, I'm not going to report it as, or write it down as, 53 degrees, because this one is not the same as this one over here. And now this is 0 degrees, and that's also 360 degrees. So in this case, what I'm going to want to do is say it's 5 meters, the resultant displacement, is equal to 5 meters, plus, or at, sorry, um, <clears throat> I'm going to take 53 and subtract it from 360. Okay, I could also add 270 and then add 37, which is the complement of 53. But the easiest way is to subtract 53 from 37, uh, from 360. So that would be 300, I'm sorry, at 307 degrees. Okay, so all three of those vectors are different. The thing they're different by is their direction. They have the same magnitude, but different directions. Now, we can also add together vec uh, vectors that when there's more than two of them. In this case, they're all perpendicular. They're all either 90 degrees or 0 degrees. Uh, or 270 degrees, so they're all, we can line them up. Now, if I was going to draw this to scale, I would draw it out to scale, and then I would draw a straight line vector from where I had started to where I had finished. Now, in both these cases, those are what the vectors would look like, but I don't want to have to draw it out to scale. I want to be able to do this mathematically. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some moving. I'm going to take this 5 meter vector that's up here and I'm going to move it down here. And I'm going to take this 5 meter vector that's here and I'm going to move it over here. Now since I've moved them, I don't have this one anymore, I don't have this one anymore, I now have this one and this one. Now this is nice because these two are already lined up head to tail. So 7 plus 5 means this side of this overall bigger triangle is equal to 12. Notice this gives me essentially a large triangle with this vector and this vector. So I'm adding the blue and the black together to get the red. Uh, so, Pythagorean Theorem, this is a 90 degree angle, so I can do that. I can take uh, 5, sorry, forget the 5, we've used that one already, 12 squared plus 5 squared, 12 plus 5, I got to square them. I take the square root, uh, that'll give me the resultant displacement's magnitude. Okay, so... Um, 12 x squared plus 5 x squared and then I'll take the square root second function square root of the answer and I get 13 okay so we're talking about 13 meters now I can quickly check that it's the hypotenuse it has to be larger than either of the other two sides 13 is larger than 12, and it's larger than 5, so that's probably good. Uh, now for angle, I'm going to want this angle right here. Again, I'm going to use the inverse tangent. I want the opposite over the adjacent, so opposite is 5 divided by 12. All right, so I'm going to take second function tangent of 5 divided by 12 and I get 22.6 degrees okay so we could probably round that off to 23 degrees it would be accurate enough for our purposes but 22.6 degrees uh, now I should have noticed that was going to be if, if you're keeping track of this and it's starting to make sense uh, 5 
is less than 12, so I should have an angle that's less than 45. If these two legs were the same, I would have 45. If the upper leg was larger than the left and right leg, then it would be more than 45. In this case, 22.6 sounds about right. So my final answer is the resultant displacement is 13 meters at 22.6 degrees. Now over here, I'm going to do the same basic thing. I'm going to move the vectors around. I'm going to move this 5 meters here, and I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to move, I got a 12 and a 7. The first, I'm going to place those head to tail. Now 12, take away 7 is 5. There's more down than up, so it's going to be 5 meters down. Now that means I will have wiped out this and this and this and this. I will have moved them so I have 5 here and then 12 minus 7 is 5 here. Now we're right back to where we were before. We have 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 squared plus 5 squared is going to give me, uh, take the square root, it's going to give me 13 meters. And this angle is going to be the same angle. This is 22.6 degrees because it's the inverse tangent of 5 over 12. However, I'm not going to write it as 22.6 degrees because that would imply that I was up here somewhere, like the first one. I'm going to take, this is 360 degrees due east. So I'm going to take 22.6, or I'm going to round it off to 23, subtract that from 360, uh, and I get... Um, 347. Okay, so you can see these have the same uh, magnitude, but they have different angles. So they're not the same vector, they're not the same displacement. You're not in the same place if you took the first path compared to the second path. Okay, so their displacements are different, they are different in the, the direction. Okay. So we'll look at more components in the second part of this guide sheet, uh, and that's it for this one.